All right, what is going on, everyone? Looks like we are now live. Uh, so if you're watching this on replay, you can go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. Um, this is going to be a 291 card PSA bulk order. So it's going to be a long one here, but there are definitely um, probably some nice cards in here. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure we are up and running um, on this for a quick second. So again, if you're watching this right now um, on replay, you can go ahead and skip ahead to the main video i'm just going to share this with twitter real quick and then we should be good to go hey what's up graded car shop all right let's see All right, so that is share. Looks like we're up and running. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. So um, these are actually, I think, um, all of, or almost all of my cards. I think there might be a couple other people's cards. Um, so we have 16 total boxes of these ones right here. Um, I have them, I kind of have them all kind of stacked up over there. And then I also have a bunch of them on the ground right there, so. Um, let's just kind of go ahead and get into this right here. So it should be um, pretty fun. We will see. Again, this was sent out last summer. So it's been a little while since uh, gotten it back. I should have actually a couple more orders coming back um, as well from for this week. I think I have a 112, call, 112 card order and then a uh, 147 card order too. So here's the first box right here. Do you know the grades? Um, I know some of them. I looked at some of them, but I didn't look at all of them. So I just checked like the first couple, so I don't know completely everything there. All right, first one. First one is going to be an Acuna. I think this was a um, Atomic. So let's see what that one got. That one got a nine. That is a cool card, look, cool looking card though. Um, PSA 9 on that one. I kind of felt like that was in better condition. kind of thought this one was going to get a 10, but um, 9 on that one. We have a Wander Franco. This one is a 10. It's nice to get a Wander Franco back, PSA 10. We have an Ornelas. I think that's a gold. This one is a 10. So that is from uh, 2017 Bowman Chrome. <laughs> yeah, which of these I'll be taking to the casino. I I don't know what to think about the other guy. I just, you can only just kind of laugh with something like that. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But Alonzo, uh, this one's a 10. That is the uh, complete set, I believe. So Pete Alonzo. I kind of feel like Alonzo could do decent this year. Um, Tommy Edmond. I don't even know why I sent in these cards. So Tommy Edmond, a 9. I think there's a couple of them here. There's a 10. It is update though, so I mean, actually it's kind of cool. Nine. There's a 10. There's an, oh, there's an eight. I don't know what happened there. But there's an eight. Um, here is a trout nine. Hey, what's up? Just doing a nice little PSA reveal here. Trout. That is a 10, just the uh, the base card from uh, 2020 Tops. Austin Riley in a 10. That is the uh, Tops Chrome update. We have a Bo Bichette. Ooh, that one's an 8. Oh, you know what? Um, I need to reach out to uh, Looney. Uh, this is actually his card right here. So let me uh, let me shoot him a message real quick. I think these are his cards or coming up kind of soon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's one of his cards right there. So let me get my computer real quick. I'm gonna shoot him a message on Twitter and just say that hey, I'm uh, revealing your cards right now. All right, let's shoot him a message. I'm just gonna do that real quick. Wherever he is. All right, one second, guys. I just want to make sure. Um, I'm just going to shoot him a message. It looks like he has some cards in this order. Actually, I think he... Let's try. 
try to do this real quick. I don't know. I'll do that in a second once it's loading, but let's kind of continue. Oh, you are watching. Okay, good. I got you right there then. All right. Sounds good. So I think that was your card, um, the Bobachette. So that one got an eight for whatever reason, but um, still kind of a cool card. I think these are back to mine, so I don't know why. They must have kind of mixed up or something. Neymar, nine. I think these ones are mine. Nine. A nine. Then another one. Boy, we're getting like a little bit of a run of nines here. Yeah, I looked at a couple cards in this order. I only looked at a couple of the grades like I was seeing. Um, this one's a 10, Kevin De Bruyne. I looked at a couple, and there was even one of one of my cards that got like a 5 and a 6. So I hope that they didn't... Um, you know, I take, you know, super care of my cards and making sure I'm sending the right ones and whatnot. So hopefully they did not, like, mess them up or anything, which, I mean, if I got a 5, they probably did mess it up a little bit. I think it was like a, a Bobby Witt Jr. Sapphire that got like a 5 or something like that. It's probably some card in this order, so I have no idea what happened there. We will see it when we get to it, though. Again, I haven't really looked at a whole lot of these, though. There's another info sheet. Some more soccer. 9. So we're getting kind of a run of 9s here. There's another 10. Another nine. We have an Antetokounmpo. That one got a nine. Uh, yeah, mostly all. I, I think pretty much. Oh, this is yours, Nooney. Uh, I believe this is yours. I'll have to double check the video. I don't know why they didn't put them together, but um, this is your Kyle Lewis, I believe. That one also got an eight. So this grader has been pretty tough. Um, from what sometimes you just kind of get unlucky, you get a. A not a very good grader. Like I said, most of mine um, usually do pretty well there, and they're getting a lot of nines here. So just maybe a grader that didn't have a very good day, but hopefully um, we'll kind of turn it, turn it around here soon. I am planning on putting together um, a product coming out pretty soon um, with a bunch of stuff, maybe some hobby packs and some PSA cards or something like that, but um, here's some Prism Soccer. So it looks like we're getting a little run of soccer cards here. Uh, Mordic, that one also got an eight. Ooch. So I'll just kind of run through these real quick. Again, I don't think any of this stuff is super expensive, but just wanted to submit some of this stuff. Luis Suarez in a nine. Neymar, that one's a good one, in a ten. Rodriguez in a 10. Harry Kane in a 10. 9. A, another 9. Paul Pogba in a 10. Salah in a 10. Hazard in a 9. Another 10. Ooh, Rashford got a 9. That is the uh, Mojo Prism. Sterling got a 9. This one got a 10. This one got a 9. And Harry Kane, to round it out, got a 10. That's the, uh, the green and orange wave. I don't think those are numbered, but those are from uh, 2018 Prism Soccer. All right, let's kind of move this stuff over a little bit. Next box. Um, you know what? I actually didn't check. I should have checked beforehand. I thought this was all my cards, but, um, this might be... Actually, you know what? Um, I think Baltimore Bird, I think yours are actually in another one. I'm pretty sure of that. Because I think this one was actually sent barely a little bit sooner than the other one. But, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Don't, don't quote me on that, though. Again, I will I will double check things with the uh, the Excel sheet that I have on file with it. So uh, John Diaz, that one is a ten. That is the Mega Box Chrome. Uh, Terrence Davis, I don't even know why I submitted this, but it is a nine. <laughs> uh, C J Abrams, I think this might be a Sapphire or something like that. Abrams, ooh, got a nine. 
Those ones are pretty expensive in a 10, but that one got a 9. Still a really nice card. I'll put this one over here. John Diaz, Sapphire. That one got a 9. <laughs> Good old Dwayne Haskins. This one's definitely gone down since I submitted it. That one is a 9. A Ja Morant. That one is... Ooh, that one got an 8. See, this, one, this grader has been pretty strict. As far as the grades, like, you can't really see much wrong with that. Like, I think at least a minimum should be a 9. There's nothing really wrong with it. I don't know. We'll see, though. Uh, here's a big one. Here's a, a LeBron James Net Marvel. So this is kind of like the Donruss inserts that go for a decent amount. I've got a 9. Okay, so LeBron James, still a sweet card. Net Marvels. LeBron... Arelvis Martinez, I think this is a first Bowman Auto Purple. That one got a 9. That is numbered out of 250. Arelvis. We got a Jalen Hands. That one got a Mint 9. Luca. Oh, gosh. 7.5. See, I mean... There's like a little bit of some corner thing right there, but is that really a 7.5? Maybe just some of these new graders that they're hiring with PSA are just kind of getting a little bit out of hand. Yeah, graders are just getting uh, like seriously. How? Tell me how this is a. Tell me how this is a 7.5. There's nothing like even the surface is not bad. <laughs> I don't know. Zion. Zion got an C. This one got an 8. I mean, there's nothing really... I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd say it's probably a 9. But, like, you can barely tell there's a little bit of a corner or something there. But that's 9s all day from the other orders that I've sent out. So, I don't know. We have a Glaber. This one got a 9. That is the Atomic. Uh, Cassis, first Bowman Auto. That's also a 9. So, man, we're just getting tons of 9s. Haven't really got a 10 for a while. KPJ. Uh, there's a 10. That is the select KPJ. <laughs> Lots of cracking to do. And yeah, they're just making my uh, making my work harder for me. That one got a 9. Drew Locke Silver. Uh, silver Select. Zach Collins. 9. Paid by the 9, yeah. Here's another soccer card. This one got another 9. Man, we're just getting 9 after 9. Here's a couple more soccer cards, I think. These ones got so a 10 on this one, and then the silver got a 9. So yeah, not doing really too well. Maybe we can, uh, we can turn it around, though. <laughs> yeah, PSA is stealing my money left and right. Let's kind of try to cut this open here. This said it was box number five. We will see what box number five has in store. All right, we got a Walker Bueller on the back. So I think that's Chrome Bueller. That one's a 10. That's kind of a nice one. Bueller, uh, Bueller Chrome in a 10. Will hurt even, yeah, they will hurt even more in the future. Yeah, if I paid $25, um, per card on this, I would definitely not be happy. I think this was back when they were like 10 or $12 a card, though, but still. Uh, this one's a 9. That is the uh, Prism Refractor. Man, I'm just getting 9 after 9. Here's a Soto. That one got a 10. There we go. Soto Rookie from Bowman's Best. I like that one. Soto in a 10. So that's a good one. Uh, Tatis. Looks like we got a couple Tatis. Uh, that one got a 10. Bowman's Best 2018 prospect, so that's a good one. Here's another one. This one got a 9. And last one there got another 9. Okay, Keldon Johnson. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about, 8. Like, tell me how that's supposed to be an 8. That looks absolutely fine to me. And trust me, like, I <laughs> I put in my work with uh, 
with prep. Like the last, the last bulk order I got back, I think I was at like 85% for tens. <laughs> How much did I spend on this order? Um, I think it was like $12 a card and there's 291 cards. So, you know, 12 times 291 plus insurance and taxes and all. And actually, I think it might've been $15 a card. I think this was $15 a card. So 15 times 291. Uh, Seku, another nine. We're just getting nine after nine. Nine, nine, nine. Let's see if we can change it. There we go, ten. Uh, it's Brandon Clark, though. Brandon Clark has been terrible this year. Uh, Jackson Hayes. It's one thing with, yeah, with PSA, they can't really, uh, they can't really show you the subgrades on it and stuff. That is that is one thing with them. Devers, this one got a ten. There we go. Devers Chrome in a PSA 10. Uh, Kyle Tucker. There we go. Refractor. That's a nice one. Kyle Tucker Refractor, PSA 10. That's a good one. Uh, Flaherty. That one got a 9. Like, I, I really don't see much wrong with that card. I don't know. Another 9. Uh, Debbie Garcia. That one got an eight. <laughs> this dude's just whoever was grading these cards is is not a fan of me or something. There's another nine. Like like I was saying, the last order was sitting at like 80, 90 percent. This one's a nine, and these ones really were about in the same condition as the last one. Another nine. What are we sitting now? Probably like 40% tens, 30% tens. Uh, Meadows nine. Alright. On to the next one. You know, there's there's still a lot of good cards here. So even if they're nines, I mean, I'm you're still making a little bit of money um, with some of the nines. You know, you just hope for a little bit more tens. All right, next box right here. We have Stidham. This one got another nine. I'm going to try to stack up these over here. All right, Shay. Yeah, I'm selling. I'm probably gonna sell um, most of these. Yeah, I'll probably do a, a big, um, some sort of big sale or something like that. Riley Green. So if you do, if you guys do like any of these cards, just shoot me a message on Twitter, and I can uh, I can give you a good deal on them. There's a nine for the Riley Green. Luca. <laughs> like this is what I'm talking about. Seven point five. You're telling me that's a seven point five. How is this a 7.5? Like, come on. There's nothing. There's nothing like maybe like barely a little bit of corn or something up there. But like, I don't know how that's a 7.5. That's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Soto. Ooh, there we go. That's a big one. Um, that is the photo variation. I want to say that's a 10. Nice. So I think this one's going for like 700 or 800 bucks. So that makes up for some of the bad grades right now. That's a 10. So that one is nice. Like, look at, though. That even has a little bit of something up there. Like, you're telling me that's a... I mean, I'm, I'm obviously not complaining with this one because it's a 10, but I even feel like this one is in worse condition than the Luca that was like a 7.5. Like, you can see the corner on there, and then there's no corner issues on that one. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm not complaining that this one's a 10, but um, these were $15 a piece. So that soda is nice. We'll put the soda back there for now. Uh, Hero, that's a ten. So yeah, grading, like I was saying, it's just kind of subjective, you know, which is kind of not the best thing. But um, there's a nine. Morant in another nine. Any Braves players? Yeah, there are some Braves in here. I think there's some Acuna, um, Austin Riley. I think there's some Pache couple other guys like that there's a ton of cards in here so we'll obviously kind of keep going on this boy we're kind of getting into that nine streak again yeah i do have a i do have an instagram as well i don't use instagram as much but um it's just uh, certified sports cards if you type it in there's a nice card first edition pouse in, in a 10 there's a nice one <laughs> good old gardner Minshew. that one got a nine 
Ooh, this one, I think this one is a, I think this is a big card. I think this is the Bobby Witt Jr. Um, first edition foil, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's not. <laughs> oh, gosh. Look at this. Like, this is what I'm telling you. Tell me how this is a six. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, did they just damage the cards or something? They had to have just damaged the cards or something. Like, you're telling me that's a six? Like, look at I'm not seeing anything on the surface. I'm not seeing anything right there. Like, come on. Tell me, tell me how that's a six. <laughs> Pop control at its finest. Yeah, I don't know what's the deal with that one. I'll probably just crack that one out. Oh, yikes. Hey, good old Peyton Burdick. There we go. Add to the Peyton Burdick stash right there. There's a Sapphire. Put that in my Peyton Burdick pile. I'll definitely have more Peyton Burdick. Here's a KPJ. That one's a nine. Yeah, I'm really wondering what happened with that Bobby Witt card. Because there's really, there's nothing apparent. Like, you can't even see any indents on the surface or anything. Like, maybe they just meant to put it a nine and they put it upside down or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they they typed the up the nine upside down on the wit. I don't know what's happened. There's a KPJ. Um, he's back on the um, the Rockets now. I think he's doing decent on the Rockets. <laughs> Good old Sam Darnold. That one's a nine. That is the silver. I feel like if Sam Darnold Sam Darnold was in a better situation, he could kind of. There goes Taco Fall. Um, there's a nine taco fall. I feel like he could actually do something okay if he has a decent off offensive line. I don't know, though. Maybe not. All right, let's go to the next box. Hopefully, we will, we will not see any more sixes. How much do you usually sell football cards for? It, it just kind of depends on how much they actually sell for. Um, if you do see something that you like, I'll just you can just shoot me a message, and uh, we can go from there. I'll just usually look at, you know, eBay sales and then take like 15, 10, 15% off of that. If you do want to uh, do something, let's go this way. All right, Mbappe, nine. So going back to our good old friend, the nines, there's another nine. That's, see, something like this, though, isn't bad. Like, you can grade it and it gets a nine and it still sells for a lot more than, than raw. So something like that I'm not really too worried about on a 9. It's just, you know, all the other ones that are kind of annoying sometimes. Another 9. <laughs> $20 for the wit. I mean, it is a 6. <laughs> Michael Porter Jr., what comps do you have the Bobby Wit? <laughs> you have a wit PSA 4 too. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Here's a Luca. So, okay, this was my test card. I remember this one. So this one, um, this one had a bunch of damage on it. So I'm interested to see what this one had. This one, if you look at the front of it, it had it had like a bunch of like scratch. It had like a huge scratch like going like this on the front. So we'll see what this grade got. So if that if the Bobby Witt got a six, this one should get like a four or something. We'll see. Let's see what this one is. <laughs> got an eight. Did they? I wonder if they mixed up these two. Like, look at you can even see it on it. Like, see the see that thing that's actually on the card. If you can see that, there's tons. There's like a huge scratch through it, and then there's like some bad corners on it. And this one got an eight, so that's this should not have graded an eight. So they overgraded this one. If you can look at that, like it's kind of hard to pick up, but there's like a huge like someone just took like a knife and just went. Shh. So I mean, again, I'm not complaining with this, but. You're telling me that that Bobby Witt was a 6 and this one's an 8? That's just stupid. I mean, I even feel bad, like, selling this to someone. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll probably sell this one on eBay so I don't have to sell it to someone on Twitter. I feel bad, like, <laughs> selling that one because it's, like, you know, I feel like it's not, it's not really, it shouldn't really grade an 8. I don't know. Here's a CJ Abrams. Ooh, that was an auto. No, that's a 9. So that's not too bad, though. PSA 9 Abrams. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this grader is doing. Here's a Marvin Bagley. That one is a 9. Another KPJ. Another 9. <laughs> yeah, PSA. I was doing fine on my other orders, but this one has just been kind of ugly. Pascal and a 10. 
So there we go. A 10, Jackson Hayes in a 9, Hayes in a 10, Hayes in a 9. I don't know why I submitted so many Jackson Hayes. There's another 10. So it looks like we went two for four on those ones. Here's a Damian Lillard. <laughs> He'll take the Luke off my hands. Fireworks Lillard in a nine. Yeah, I mean, if you do want, if you guys do want any of these cards, there's a 10. Frazier, just shoot me a message on Twitter with which ones you want, and I can give you a, a decent deal on them. There's Bueller in a nine. Shane Bieber. Probably going to have to take this stack somewhere. There we go. I think that's a good one. Um, Shane Bieber, that's his update rookie in a PSA 10. How's it going? Slim Reaper. Shane Bieber in a 10. So that's a good one. Clint Frazier in a 10. So getting a couple 10s there. That's always nice to see. Um, Taco Fall in a 9. All right, so I'm going to show you a little update. So there over there are the 10s. There are the 9s, and then these are all like 8s or below. So there's definitely something <laughs> There's definitely something a little wrong with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move one of these stacks out of the way. All right, let me move this stack of 10s out of the way as well. On to the next box here. What card here would you give to me for free? <laughs> Probably wouldn't give any cards for free. I mean, if you really want, you can have... <laughs> you can... You can have this one for, like, the cost of shipping if you want or something. <laughs> That's, like, a 7.5. All right, let's keep on going with this, though. What would you say the normal 10 percentage on getting back? 50%? I'd say that's probably about right. It kind of depends on how well you're looking at your cards. Um, and I usually take a lot more time. Like like I was saying, the last order that I got, there's a 9. or Oh, that's an 8. Gosh. Like, that should not be an 8. I don't know. Um, the last order that I got, I was at, I think, 80-something percent. There we go. There's Luis Robert 10. That is from uh, 2020 Bowman Chrome. Luis Robert in a 10. Here is a Gavin Lux Mini. I'll text you on Instagram tomorrow. Yeah, sure, sure thing. There is a Gavin Lux in a 10. That is the T206. Mike Trout. That's a some sort of refractor, it looks like. Haskins, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a 9. That's a cool-looking card, though. Has there been any Devers yet? Yeah, there has been some Devers. Um, I think there was a P couple PSA 10 Devers. I haven't shown any Pache. There's a nine. That is the uh, the hollow trout. Let me get this stack back on. Here is another trout. There we go. That's a cool one. That is the mythical insert. Um, insert kind of refractor hollow. And that is a 10. So I think that's kind of a cool card. How much do you think shipping would be? Yeah, I, have, I have no idea. You can always shoot me a message or something on it. It would probably be like five, five bucks or five, five bucks or something like that. Cam Reddish in a 10. Brandon Clark. Hey, what's up, Texas Hockey? Brandon Clark in a 9. Juan Soto in a 9. That is the um, Rookie Cup. Yeah, sounds good. Ooh, here we go. Here's a Tatis Rookie Refractor. Ooh, got a 9. So that one got a 9. Here is a Trent Grisham autograph. That one got a 9. These might be the start of Sam's cards. I'm not entirely sure. I'll, I'll double check on it, though. Uh, Grisham in a 9. You should be getting some cards back from PSA. That's good. There's a 10, Powson. stack. Brandon Lau in a 10. So there we go, getting a couple 10s. Another Brandon Lau, that one's a 9. How much did you pay per card? Uh, I paid 15 bucks per card. I think this was last summer. 
uh, KPJ in a nine. Kyle Lewis, see, <laughs> that's an eight. Like, again, you're telling me that's an eight? There's nothing really wrong with that card. I don't know. Trent Grisham in a nine. Trent, yeah, I think these are Sam's. I'll put these aside. Um, Grisham in a 10. And Grisham in a 10. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I do have it all on an Excel sheet and everything, but I'm pretty sure um, those were Sam's right there. So I'll put those to the side. You have a rookie Tom Brady card. That's Yeah, it is cool. Looks like this one got taped. Some more of this right here. We got a Bichette. That is a Chrome. That one is a 9. Nolan Arenado. And that's a 9. Like, this card was pretty much perfect. I don't know. I pulled this myself and looked it over. I mean, there was really nothing wrong with it. I guess the centering is a little bit barely... Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that's warranted. But still. Dominguez. And a 9. Jacob Amaya. That one is a 10. Uh, Fredius Nova. Or Fredius Nova. That one is a 10. That is the uh, Mega Box Chrome. Xavier Edwards. In a 10. So there we go. Nice card there. Miguel Vargas. In a 9. CJ Abrams. I think this is an autograph. There we go. That one's a 10. Nice. So CJ Abrams, Mega Box Autographs, uh, PSA 10. So hey, we got a 10 on a decent card. <laughs> uh, Luis Robert. That one is a 10. So there we go. Luis Robert Chrome. Nice card there. Uh, Shane Bieber. Here's the Chrome version of the Shane Bieber card. There we go. That one got a 10. So we're we're doing a little bit better. Not crazy, but uh, Devontae Graham, 10. Devontae Graham, 9. Uh, JJ Blade, 10. That is the Leaf Flash. Autographs. I think that was numbered... Um, I guess it wasn't number, just the uh, the base autograph of Bullet Day. Uh, DJ Wilson, number to 20. I have no idea if this dude is still playing in the league, but that is a PSA 10 Prism, number to 20. <laughs> I'll see if the dude is still playing in the league. Uh, I have not subbed to HGA. I'm still not um, entirely fixed on a HGA yet. I think they've got some cool, there's a 9. I think they've got some cool slabs, but... Um, ooh, there we go. Um, this is a big one. Um, Kelnick. That is a Kelnick first Bowman auto. So this was a PSA 9 crack out, if I remember. Um, yeah, this was a PSA 9 that I cracked out. Um, let's go ahead and see what this is. Maybe we can get that bump. Although, with the grades we're going, we're probably not going to get the bump. I did clean it off, though, so we'll see. Ooh, <laughs> there we go. That makes up for some of the bad grades. There we go. I like that one. Kelnick 10. So that is 2018 Bowman Draft Kelnick in a 10. So that is beautiful. It'll go well with the uh, the J-Rod 10 that I've got. So that's definitely one of the uh, the staples so far. We'll put the uh, the Soto and the Kelnick up there. Whoop. Oh, and by the way, I am giving, I am giving this away um, on Twitter when I get to 10,000 followers. So I think that's going to come up pretty soon. But um, Kelnick is nice right there continue along with this um this one is sam's i remember so i'll put that in sam's pile wow again I'll, I'll go check on the excel sheet that we've got um, this one's also sam's bryce ball in a nine and then an eloy this one's also sam's i believe that one also got a nine all right so happy with the kelmic there still got a few more boxes 
this um, overall it's been pretty bad, but I mean the you know the Kelnick makes up for a decent amount of that. All right, let's see some more stuff here. You think the Eloy was yours? Was it this one? Okay, I'll put it in my pile. I think you've you've probably got the uh, Excel sheet on your computer, so you probably can do that better than me. All right, Minshew in a nine. Uh, McCaffrey nine. Do I have Darius Garland for grading? Are you? Oh yeah. Um, I think there actually is some Garland in here. I don't know if we've gone over it yet, but there should be some Garland. There's a draw 10. There we go. Donruss in a PSA 10. That's a good one. Um, Bagley in a 10. Riley Green. Ooh, there we go. That's a nice one. That's the uh, 2020 Bowman Chrome Sapphire. Um, PSA 10 Riley Green Auto. So that's a cool one. Um, I think this one is a silver. I think this is a Tyler Hero silver. Oh, just the base. Okay, so this is the base. This one got a 10. Um, select, that's the concourse. Another KPJ. So if anyone wants KPJ out there, I think this is like the 7th or 8th prism we've gone over. Ooh, okay, so this one might be... <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what the last one got. Let me show it if I can find it. <laughs> so if you're not tuning in, the last <laughs> the last one got a six. So I have no idea what went wrong with that one. Um, but this one, I think this one might be the rainbow foil. So we'll see what this one got. Oh, it's not. And it's a nine. So, I mean, not a terrible grade. I'm pretty sure there might be a rainbow foil. Or maybe I'm thinking of some other order um, that has that. I don't know. Continuing, continuing along, Riley Green. Um, that one is a nine. That is the blue uh, Mega Box Auto. Another one of those Peyton Burdicks. Another nine, or I guess that's my first uh, Burdick nine. Here is a um, Select Premier Level. That's a nine. Tyler Hero, silver. I wish they still write the sapphire and gold on the cards, like the one you just showed. Oh yeah, that one is kind of cool. Like this you're talking about, kind of like the, the sapphire little thing up there. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit cool. They might just continue to do that for uh, for Bowman Chrome Sapphire stuff. I don't know, though. Um, Allen in a 9. Shea in a 10. That's the second year prism. Um, Kobe. That one's a 10. There we go. Kobe, just a base uh, 2019 prism. Um, MPJ. In a nine, MPJ in another nine, and MPJ in a ten. All right, more MPJ it looks like. Another ten, so two tens for the MPJ. It's not too bad. And then we have uh, one of these here in a ten. Look at the lottery. So not too bad on those. Let's go to the next box. Oh, it's already kind of open. Yeah, we just uh, we just got that one back in this order too. Um, I think this one is goes for a crazy amount of money, but that's the uh, the short print from uh, from twenty nineteen tops. So that's a nice one. Glad that that one got a 10. Uh, Brandon Clark in a 9. That's probably like a $3 card now. <laughs> uh, Trent Grisham in a 9. Trent Grisham. Oh, I think these are Sam's. I'm pretty sure this is the start of Sam's stuff. So maybe the other ones that I put aside um, are not Sam's. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out later. But um, Sam, if you're still watching, these ones should be yours. So you got that Grisham 9. Grissom 9. Do you accept mail? Fan mail? Um, I don't know. I mean, I've never really been asked to send something for fan mail, but 
you missed the first 10. Here's a Soto. Um, that is the numbered one, 2019. That is an 8. If you shoot me a message um, on Twitter, maybe I can uh, I can send you an address or something like that if you do really want to send something. I don't know how that got an 8, though. I'm looking that over, and, I mean, there's barely a little bit of something on that corner, but I don't think that should have got an 8. I don't know. I can always just crack it out for you, Sam. Sheffield. That one's a 9. So, again, these are all Sam's right here. A... Bo Bichette in a nine. Yeah, that one got an eight, so that one's not the best. Soto, another nine, man. We're just getting hammered with these nines. Another nine. Let's see if we can turn it around. If this isn't a ten, that's a ten. There we go. Soto in a ten. I'll take it. One for three. I mean, not great, but not terrible. We got a Luis Robert. That one is a nine. Another Luis Robert. That one's a ten. The old pack of baseball cards from your grandpa. If you'd like to check out. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be interesting. You can shoot me maybe a, a picture of what it looks like and maybe I can tell you a little bit more about it. Oh, there's an eight. Like, there's, there's barely a little bit of some corner stuff, so I think it should have probably got a 9, but an 8 is super harsh. I don't know. Again, this grader has been uh, has been um, kind of tough. There's a KPJ Silver 10. Trent Grisham Refractor, 9. LaVisca Chenault in a 9. Uh, Cam Reddish. In a nine. Josh Allen. I think this is a silver second year. Boy, we're just getting hammered with the nines. I don't know. Here's an Eloy. Uh, number to 125. That's also a nine. $15 a card, yeah. It's, uh, I think it's like $25 a card now. I think this one's mine. Um, back to my cards now, but that one is also a nine. So, man, we did not do very good in that box. There's a couple solid grades, but um, nothing crazy there. This one looks like it's got some stuff on it. <laughs> Keep the wit six in the case and you'll purchase it for the below six PSA collection. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Maybe time to submit the snaggle teeth grading. Yeah, no kidding. This order has been uh, a little difficult. For, for those of you that were not um, tuned into the start, here's some of the here's some of the bad ones that we got. Like you're telling me that that one is a seven point five, seven point five. This one got a six. That one got an eight. I mean, and you know you guys know that I always look over my cards well and stuff like that too. So either they um, damaged the cards at grading or I don't know something else happened. But I don't know. Furthermore, uh, there's a huff and a ten. A Huff in a, another 10. Sam Huff. So three for three so far. Let's see if I jinxed myself. There's another 10. He <laughs> prefer grades lower around four. <laughs> it's when it's like that, it's almost like it's a it's like a meme or something. When you have like a, a modern car that's like a four, a four or five, you're just like, what the heck is this? Uh, there's a nine. So we're doing a little bit better this box. Lolo Sanchez in a nine. Of course, I probably jinxed myself. Here's a wit. There we go. That's a nice one. Uh, Bobby Witt Jr. in a 10. So that's a good card. Again, I probably wouldn't even have graded I wouldn't even have graded this one a 10, though, because if you look at it, it's a little bit off center. Like, I guess it's technically maybe 60-40, but I would have expected that one to probably get a nine. I don't know. This this grader is all over the place with these grades. Trevor Story on our top 10 players. Rookies go for nothing, pretty much. You think any? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, Powson in a 10. So there's a nice one. The What is that? The Mega. Here's another one. That's a 9. Uh, Brandon Lau in a 9. 
<laughs> there's no rhyme or reason with PS. After you know, I thought I had it figured out, but before this, before this video, um, or I mean, I guess during and after this video, I really do not know. Like the last, like I was saying, the last order was about 85% tens, and this order is all over the place. So I don't know. Shirt and Apostle. 10 and like i was saying um i submitted that luca card as a test because i thought it was going to get like a psa 5 and it got a psa 8 so there's a 10 that is the uh, sky blue foil so really i am <laughs> i don't really know what's going on here's another wit that one is a nine any homes in this sub i think there might be one or two but i don't think there's a whole lot i think i have more mahomes than some other orders here's a joshua mears that's a 10. I just found out recently that um, one of our family friends is knows uh, Joshua Mears really well, which is kind of funny. I don't know how it came up in conversation, but um, Joshua Mears, another one, and a 9. Marco Luciano. Here we go. There we go. That's, that's a 10. Nice. Big fan of uh, Marco Luciano. I think he'll be one of the next good guys there. So it's a 10. Nice card. Back done. All right, so we are down. Um, I think this actually might be the last box. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, we went through those in a decent amount of time. 46 minutes for uh, for 291 cards isn't too bad. Water stains, yeah. I mean, would it be water stains that from PSA though? Because I mean. I definitely did not submit him with water stains, so it must have, I mean, happened with them or something. Are we just doing baseball cards? Uh, no, I already, I've again, I've already, there's tons of cards over here. Again, there's tons of cards over there and then over there and whatnot, but I've already gone over some football, soccer, um, basketball, you name it. There's some other cards in here too. There's a nine, J-Rod. Spent over 4000 on these. Um, I didn't spend over 4000 I think it was like thir probably like 3500 or something like that. But still, you know. Grading is not cheap. Let me tell you that. There's a Luca in a 10. It also does not make you feel very good when, um, it's, you know, nothing crazy on that. There's a Kendrick Nunn. That's a, boy, that's an 8. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Tell me how that's an 8. I don't know. Uh, Bayron Laura. A nine. Massive water scene on a car that submitted clean and checked the original pictures. Huh. Y'all have to, uh, I don't know where the wit, that Bobby wit went. But, uh, yeah, maybe I'll check that. It looked pretty clean from the case, though. Um, where did that wit even go? I don't know. Some, this is what I'm talking about, though. Um, if you're just tuning in, this card was in terrible condition. Like, I think this thing should have got, like, a PSA 5. If you look at it, it's, like, all... It has, like, a huge... Like, someone took a big knife and just went, like, with it, like, there. And then there's a bunch of print lines, print dots. The corners aren't good. And then this thing got an 8. But the other cards in the order, like, there was some modern cards that got 5s. The wit on camera to start to finish. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I took a video of it. And like this is this is some of the other cards like this one should have got like a nine and then it got a seven point five and this is the card that I'm talking about like I think this card should have got like a PSA five and this one should have got like a PSA nine so I don't know <laughs> I mean sometimes I have no idea what to what to think about with PSA but you know what are you gonna do I don't know moving along Hudson Head uh, let's see <laughs> this one's an eight I don't know sometimes what are you gonna do put them side to side it's the same card the smudge yeah it is the same card so if you guys were following along with the soto um there is like a little bit of a smudge or something on it which is kind of weird but there's the card right there um that was definitely an interesting issue if you watch that other video that i um put out to see there's an eight i don't know if you watch the other video that i put out today <laughs> it was kind of funny with the the other guy that was texting me he sent me an actual picture of him of him at the casino with my card, like knowing, um, for those of you, I guess probably, most of you probably know, but there's a nine. They sent the uh, the wrong cards 
to me, and then they sent my cards to someone else. So I've been kind of dealing with that. Luciano, Mosaic Burrow 10, a PSA 5, except print lines on the reverse. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's a little interesting. Ooh, there we go. There's a nice one. Baron Laura, Sapphire, PSA 10. That's a nice one. Sapphire 10. So again, um, not the best order overall, but you know, to get a few of those nice cards like the uh, the Kelnick that got a 10, the Kelnick First Bowman Auto that got a 10, and then the, the Soto, which is actually a pretty good card, the short print. <laughs> oh gosh, we're back to the Bobby Witt stuff. <laughs> this is a five. Oh, uh, there's, I mean, come on, tell me how this is a five. There was nothing wrong with it when I submitted it. Like, come on. <laughs> I don't even know what to laugh. Okay, let's bring out... Let's bring out this Luca again. Let's bring out this Luca again. So this Luca was in terrible condition. I thought this one was going to grade terrible. This one actually did grade terrible. So did they just kind of mix it up or something or what? I don't know. I'll definitely just crack it out. Same thing, same thing with that wit. I don't know. <laughs> like, just look at like there's nothing on the surface, and there's no cor there's no corner issues. There's no like there's nothing on the corners or anything. The surface, like look at that. There's no indents or anything. Maybe I'll crack out this card right now. You know what I should do? I'm gonna I'm gonna crack out this card in a second, and we'll see if there's actually any issues with that. Because there definitely wasn't when I submit it. He'll take them. <laughs> There's a nine. So I don't know. Like, look at this one was off center, more off center than the other one. That one got a nine. <laughs> the other one got a five. Yeah, graded card chop. You can you can uh, add them to your PSA five or below. Uh, Vargas. That one got an eight. So again, not great there, but I mean, hey, better than the better than the five. <laughs> it's maybe Sam Huff bullied him in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Probably. Uh, there's a Riley Green and Nick Cantana. That's a nine. Sam Huff. That is a nine. On the Sam Huff. Brandon Clark in a nine. Uh, Peyton Burdick. I think we're rounding it out right here in a nine. Peyton Burdick in another nine. We'll put this in the Peyton Burdick stack. And another Peyton Burdick in another nine. So not great on the Burdicks. But um, I feel like we're missing something. I'm going to check if there is a... Uh, you know what? I feel like we're missing some cards. Let me Let me go double check something real quick. We are missing cards. There's three more boxes. All right. So I thought that was the last one, but we have a, uh, we have three more boxes. I kind of felt like that was a little bit light on there. So you've only seen one of mine. Yeah. So they, yours should be in this one. I don't know why, why um, yours was like way over here. So all I got to say with this order is I have no idea what to expect <laughs> with these cards. Sid Mahomes, I haven't seen him join 30 minutes ago. Um, I think there might have been... I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to double check on that. Um, there might have been some early on. We will see, though. Gavin Lux. Again, uh, Nooney, if I, if I would have known your cards were actually in this order, I probably would have done a better job to, um, you know, figure out where exactly they were in the order so you didn't have to wait through all this. But, I mean, I guess it's kind of fun to look at, so... Uh, there's a Lux in a 9. This stack of PSA 9s is getting pretty tall. Here's a Luis Robert. Oh, I think these ones are Sam's now. I think this is where we're back to Sam's card. So there's a 10. That's a nice card. Luis Robert in a PSA 10. So I think yours are probably coming up, uh, Jeff. There's another 10. Luis Robert. Chrome pink. Uh, this one's back to mine. So I don't know what they were doing with this order, but... Here's a nine, or <laughs> of course it's a nine. I didn't even, I didn't even uh, 
turn it over and I already knew it was going to be a nine. Six to Sanchez. <laughs> Another nine. Yeah, we're getting, uh, we are definitely getting um, not the best grades here. There's a 10, just a rookie cup, though. Good old Joe Janord in a nine. Uh, Bo Bichette, here's a refractor. There we go. There's a 10. There's a nice one. Uh, Bo Bichette refractor, PSA 10. So that one's good. <laughs> yeah, the suspense is killing you, but all, all it's really leading up to is a bunch of PSA 5 Sam Huff cards. <laughs> uh, Grisham in a 10. There's a nice one. Grisham in a 10. Another 10 for Grisham. Another 10. So there we go. Getting some Grisham 10s. Here's a 9. Sam, um, if, if Sam, if you're still watching, were those were those Grisham's yours or were those mine? We'll, uh, we'll go back and check the video, but I'm... Um, or I guess the Excel sheet and stuff, but I'll have to double check on that. There's a Bichette in a 10. I'll, I'll double check if these are yours or not. There's a Devontae Graham, 9. Sixto Sanchez. For this run of 10s, yeah, kind of a little bit. Ooh. All right. Wander in a 9. Joe Genord in a 10. That in a 10 pile. John Diaz in a 10. And John Diaz in a 10. So <laughs> we did a little bit better that box. Um, that's probably been the best uh, percentage wise for 10. So it really isn't saying much. I mean, it still wasn't a great percentage. You don't think you had chromes in this order? Okay. So yeah, those ones are probably mine then. Yeah, I think I already put aside, um, I think I already put aside your little stack of stuff right there, but we can double check on it and whatnot. Uh, Luca, nine, back to the good old friendly nines. Uh, LeBron, winner stays. Tyler Hero in a 10, there we go. Hero in a 10. Uh, another KPJ in a nine. MPJ in a nine. Jaw. I'm not even going to say nines anymore because it's just pretty much. There's a 10, reddish. It's pretty much like most of them are just nines. There's a Luca. Uh, LeBron. KP. Ugh. There's an 8. <laughs> like, there's nothing really wrong with it. I don't know. Pascal and a 10. Check the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet and I had a chrome refractor, no base though. Okay. So we will uh, we will double check. There's a nine. I'll double check on that. We just did uh, reveal a refractor, but um, I'm not entirely sure if it was a ten or not. There's another nine Burdick. Yeah, freaking Chronicles has been not very good in this. I don't know. Nine. There's a Tyler Hero. There we go. There's a 10. Tyler Hero. Um, see, this one, like, really shouldn't have got a, gotten a 10, though. Like, the other ones were in way better condition than that. You can see how off-center that is from uh, from left to right. It's just kind of off-center there. I don't know. Yeah, that one is off-center. So I really, <laughs> I really have no words for what kind of a... Uh, you know, I'd be fine if they're a little bit consistent, consistently tough on their grades... But, I mean, they really haven't been consistent at all with uh, with most of this stuff. There's a bird of 10. <laughs> Virtual hug. <laughs> all right, here's another box. I think this one might be the last box. I'll have to double check um, on it, but we will see. I have no idea what that dude's talking about. Sam Darnold and a nine. Soto Saga is unreal. 
Yeah, now the auto is kind of messed up too. That's kind of funny. There's a Trey Young. See, that's I mean, I'm not I'm not terrible terribly disappointed with that card. That's a, a decent card in a nine for the Trey Young. Yeah, the the card is kind of smudged. So if you look at the if you look at the original picture, it's kind of a little bit off like that. Like it wasn't it didn't really look like that before. I don't know though. Um, this might be the start of yes. Okay, so this these are yours, Noonie. I believe these are yours right here. So I think we should start uh, being the reveal of yours. I'm pretty sure this is the start of them. Okay, so first one, yours got a nine. Luis Robert, let's see if you can get some better luck than me. Kyle Lewis, nine. Mike Trout. <laughs> Back to the eights. So I guess Nooney didn't get catch any breaks. Like, there's really nothing wrong with that. Like, corners are good. There's no surface stuff. There's just really no consistency with this order. I don't know. <laughs> nine is a forbidden word. Yeah, okay. I won't say nine from here on out. Oh, there we go. We're back to tens now. I guess we just can't say nine anymore. Julio Rodriguez. There's a nice one. So I think this one is yours, um, Jeff. I'm pretty sure I'll have to, um, again, confirm with my, because I didn't check beforehand on this, but um, I think this one is yours right there. PSA 10, Julio Rodriguez, first Bowman. So that's a nice one. We have a Robert Powson in a 10. So there we go. Like this one is a little bit off center too. And so I didn't even think that one was going to get a 10. Noel V in a 9. How'd you end up getting it back? Um, <laughs> so if you if you missed the Soto story, you should go check back the last video. It's uh it's pretty funny. I'm I can boy this one got an eight, so I can kind of see that there. There is a, I think I remember telling them that this one wasn't going to grade, um well, but that's an eight. Uh, sky blue. I remember this one was in pretty bad condition. I remember telling them probably not grade it. Because if you can see that, um, there is some kind of major um, corner issues there. And there's some edge issues on it as well, I believe. But I don't know. We'll see what this one got. And that one got that grade. So that one's number to five. So that's a Henry Ruggs number to five. So I think this is actually a really solid grade for that card. I think this one was probably overgraded as a nine, which is, which is nice. So Henry Ruggs, there is your four of five. I think those ones are yours. I'll double check to make sure if you had any others. Some of these might be yours too. Or these might be my pochettes. Yeah, I think we're just back to uh, to my cards. I'll double check though. Um, nine. Oh, I said it. Evan, we're not supposed to say it. There is a Bobochette graded card. <laughs> Let's see if it helps out. Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Yep, it does help out. <laughs> yeah, like tell me this is not select. This is another mistake that they made. Tell me that's uh, that's definitely Prism. <laughs> it says 2019 Panini Select or Red Wave. That is definitely uh yeah, I can just say mint. Okay. I'll say I'll say mint from now on. Yeah, that's definitely a 2020 or 2019 Prism, not select. But hey, I mean at this point I'm that's what I'm kind of expecting from PSA. <laughs> MPJ 10. Did they finally grade? Oh, they did. I think those ones were them. Yeah, so I guess they did grade these. So they both got nines. Yeah, these are the these are the no logo ones. So last time they didn't grade these. Again, I felt like some of the, at least one of those was gonna get a ten though. But um, yeah, those are like the no logo kind of error brochettes. So I guess you know they graded them this time. Uh, John Morant in eight. Of course, that is what we were expecting because this grade grading submission has been terrible. <laughs> it's really not been too bad because we've gotten you know a couple of nice cards and stuff but you know it really hasn't been amazing so the last two cards right here john diaz in a psa mint <laughs> let's see if it'll help us out kyle lewis oh it does help out so i really shouldn't have just been saying nine the whole time like that one even has like a corner issue on it and that one still got a 10 so <laughs> i don't know so if you weren't watching the whole time, let's kind of do a, um, 
<laughs> let me show you what let me show you what we're working with this with this submission. So this Luca was in terrible condition. I thought it was gonna get like a PSA five. It was um it's all scratched up, has like a big knife mark in it, a bunch of other stuff. And this one got an eight. So I don't know how this one got an eight, but it got an eight. So you know, I guess I will take it, but I kind of feel bad kind of selling it to someone. Um, this one was in good condition, and it got a 6. This one was also in good condition, and it got a 5. <laughs> so those are the three kind of really weird ones, but... Or I don't know, you submitted a Lewis space? Okay, I'll, uh, maybe that one is yours then. I'm going to go ahead... I have it all on an Excel sheet, so I will go ahead and make sure this one is yours. Uh, maybe this one was yours, so... I will go back and check on that, Jeff. Again, I will make sure to get all the right cards to you. They kind of submitted them in, like, weird orders in this order, too. So I don't know what was going on, but that was a wild ride, to say the least, yeah. I'd say I'm definitely happy with these ones, too. These two right here, I should say, though. Um, Kelmic and Soto. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off this stream for now. Again, this um, Kelmic was a PSA 9 originally, so, I mean, I'm happy with that one. I'm going to go ahead and shut off this stream, though, for now. appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, especially those that have been here for a while. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and see you guys on the next one.